What's up, guys? How's it going? What's up, Burrito? What's up, Convicts? What's up, Julian? He fell asleep. I should host the tournament instead. Nah. What's up, Amethyst? What's up, Iron? How's everybody doing? We got round one check-ins opening in two minutes. So, yes. Let me just... Yeah. What's up, Iza? How's it going? Oh, wait, I forgot to... There we go. There it is. There's... There's... There's the better spot. Yeah, like... Oh. Yeah. That's where it should be. I, I don't know why this... Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Cosmic? How's it going? But yeah, welcome to... Welcome to Lumion Cup. Six. It's been uh, it's been a couple months, so I might be a little uh, a little slow on the commentary, but we'll, we'll get into we'll get into it fast. All right, stream is up. Round one check-ins are open. Lumen Cup six has started. If you're in a round one check-in, submit your team. Let's start your battle now. Round two will start immediately after all. Round one battles are done. Watch my battle. We'll see. Let's see. I don't even know. We'll we'll see how many people check in. I hope there's you know, obviously I hope there's a lot, but I don't know. We'll see based off the names and how many people there are. I honestly have no idea. Like I know I took a look at the brackets, but I have no idea who's in round one and that. But anyways, yeah. Round one check-ins are open. Everything's gone yellow. So yeah, if you are in a round one, go check in right now, and yeah, we'll we'll get this Lumen Cup underway. Also, yes, I, I should probably talk about this right off the bat, but Charionix, I don't know why people were wanting it banned, but it, it is obviously not banned. So Charionix is allowed like it has been the last, I mean, it's been a while with the last cups and I decided to give Mudagon a try. I mean, I don't think it's like, obviously it's not like, I lost Quick Punch. I feel like that's going to impact it enough to where like, you know. It can only kill things. Like, it can't just, like, kill offensive things that are threatening it out anymore, right? So, I mean, obviously it still has tank. It's still probably hard to break, but, I mean, I don't think it's going to be an issue to the point where it's ubers. And obviously, Dragodine's allowed. It's, yeah, it's staunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh I, you said that, like, immediately after <laughs> the stream today. What's up, Believe in Wins? How's it going? My coach just called a practice. Yo, what? As the Looming Cup's about to happen? That's crazy. Uh... Moodle lips back? Hmm. Bro, Teclipse is getting like. <laughs> what happened to Teclipse? <laughs> it's losing so much base stats and getting all these moves for no reason. Hmm. But, anyways, yes, we have some green battles here. We're gonna hop into this one. Acoustic Dude and Neon Blast. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Oh, 
also, yeah, that should be good. Alright, this. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Alright, we got acoustic and neon. It's so weird having 5-5, five, five, cause like, when I host Doodle Cups, it's like best of three, so I use, you know, the score is 0-0 zero, because zero, it goes off a game, and then this, it's like, it goes off a of Lumians because we don't see the teams or whatever. Alright, I'll see you wise. Enjoy your, enjoy your last minute practice. I could hmm. obviously it's too late now but idea we have like I mean that would take a lot actually if we had like for future movie cups we could have like teams on the left and the right I guess for top eight I could do that have like people's instead of like actually yeah that'd be cool for top eight we have like I have to get all the pictures but we could have like the seven on the side and like X them out manually Something like that. I'm just trying to think, it's like... Ah, now people actually have to, whatever... Know the teams, like, memorize the teams. Hope I really hope Blooming Legacy adds, like, you know... You guys know what I'm talking about, what is it called? Like, you just see their team and you see how much health they're at, see if they're fainted or not. All that good stuff. I feel like that would be, you know, a cool thing. But anyways, we yeah, no, we see erupted on, which I mean just forces this out. Acoustics battle so real, true. Alright, Cleone here. I mean, they're not gonna put out their hailstorm now, right? They probably just landslide and then yeah, Cleone gets free momentum off of this. Turn one hellstorm, I don't know if that's you know. You might want to choose what you want to click that on. Okay, wait, where's... Oh, they... Oh, they... Dark Surge! On the Shade Pearl Cleone. Alright, well, turn one read. And it's Shade Pearl, so, yeah. <laughs> Erupted on erupts all over, that's crazy. Umbrad here as they pivot, and I mean, yeah, what do they have to offensively threaten this out? See you next. Oh, wait, that's the wrong calc. Alright, well, I mean, if Sirenai wants to, they can get barbs or something. Lumello comes in as the barbs go up. So, I don't know what's on Acoustic's team, but I mean, poison barbs, ice barbs, or ice trap, normal barbs. I mean, if it, obviously poison barbs are the best, if it's not poison type, but, you know, depending on what's on Acoustic's team, depends on what they set up, or they could, well, they're never gonna wait forever here. I'm gonna win upcoming tournaments and then retire. Wait, is that what he said? <laughs> Wait, what? Lumello's fake? Nah. Cleone. Lumello's actually like... Bro, it has every barbs. It has like 100 health. It has 100 attack. Why would you not? Like, everybody's like, oh, Lumello's bad or something. Like, I, I, the same thing looks fine to me. Like, you get to set up every barbs. You're fairly bulky. You have an attack stat. Like it, I don't know, and baneful for plants, I guess. Which, that's on the plant. <laughs> Gurgolem's here. And, yeah, I mean. Or other waters, even. 
Wave Wrecker on the Gargolem does nothing. <laughs> Even though this is like a hundred attack, it's uh, it's a Gargolem defense. Sorry, guys. I lied. I'm sorry. I actually lied to you guys. It's 99 attack. Oh, and yeah, it has 100 energy. So it's like... <laughs> True. <laughs> I mean, it's literally gonna... Oh. Oh. There goes the milkshake. What's up, uh, what's up, YDM? Or WDM? My opponent isn't showing up. How many DQs are there? Barbs, yeah. Mm, not. Actually, it's not that ter. Wait, that's actually crazy. Almost all of these matches have one person checked in, one person DQ'd. Well, I mean, it's not terrible. Anyways, yeah, I mean, Charionix gets rid of all those barbs. So, yeah, I mean, Neon got this Gargo Gargolem, like, half about, so. Yeah, I mean, they got rid of that, or they lost, you know, chipped that down, and, I mean, Charionix just easily gets rid of the barbs, so there's no, you know, drawbacks to it. Boiling Press gonna... And yeah, I mean, now they can... Like, there is the Charion... I'm sorry, the Cleone coming in. Possibly. But, you know, Erupted on Click Dark Surge last time. It does come in. It doesn't have a Shade Pro this time. But the Hellstorm. So, yeah. Cleone's... Oh, boy. Is that enough? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Wait. Flinch Spam? Oops, I forgot to check in. Bro, what? <laughs> I mean, it's too late. It just... Yeah, it, it quite literally, as you said that, at 9.10. Unfortunate. Alright, we see Lumello. As the Seer Knight comes in, so Lumello gets its health back, or its energy back. Will and Dab are battling? Up, can how's it gone? Okay, I gotta move this. Wait. Oh. Oh wait, no, it has. Wait, I forgot about that. It has boiling price. I forgot. Not like this. Um, you know, <laughs> erupted on here. I didn't get to make pre-evo usage, so you weren't even gonna battle properly, anyways. Nice. <laughs> Bro's playing Little Cup in an OU tournament. Alright, we see Erupted on Magnifying here, so yeah. This Cleone's dead, 100%. And, I mean, we'll see. What is. We haven't seen anything from Acoustic that's like fast forces this out that we know of. I mean, obviously they probably have something, but you know, we'll see what that is. Drop of Youth Charionix pre of oh, that's crazy. Oh, they have Glacidea comes in. Alright. Lumello, yeah, this is, yeah. <laughs> Good chip. I'm gonna go back to reading. All right, have fun with that. But yeah, I mean, Lumello can, no, I guess it's energy, or you can just hit barbs, okay. I mean, Gargoyle just kinda gets rid of these and they get to heal. Why am I saying heal? I'm sorry, I'm so like, <laughs> Regain energy, replenish energy, whatever. How we, yeah. Is there a one word thing for that? Probably not. But, yeah, I mean. Wave Wrecker's a two hit at this range. And, I mean, Charyonis can just come in later for Neon and 
get rid of those barbs, but they're setting up their own barbs still. This is boring? Nah. There's a wave wrecker. So. Like empathize goes. And there go the vibes. Alright, okay, well now it's starting to get boring. <laughs> Bored <it>, boring. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah. Alright, we see Chariotix here. Watch Will and Dab. Let me get a username. They didn't exchange usernames. I can't even find them. I don't know their names. <laughs> Alright, Empathize goes up and Gargolem's like back to full health. <laughs> no energy, but, you know. <laughs> Wait, this is defensive Charo, so I can't even like... Here's a Seer Knight. Spite misses the 90%, or the 10%, like, you know. This is the 90% move. I had to go to the bathroom. Bro, what? It's a 10 minute DQ time, or check in time. That was like in the information when you registered. <laughs> I can't make exceptions because you had to go to the bathroom at the exact 10 minutes that the check ins are open. That's just. Top three? Like top three best players or what? Alright, erupted on here, as the rest goes. Fire breath. On the D Force, which I mean, that's yeah. What is this? Lumello. Well, guys, this is a very entertaining battle. This is like. Okay, why does this keep? How do I? Wait. Why are they setting up barbs? They literally could have killed the Gargolem. Am I missing something here? Is the play not just to kill this? Like... <laughs> you're just losing energy at this point if you're Lumello. Like, just click the green arrow and just... <laughs> Bro, it's gonna click Empathize. Nope. Alright, well... I mean, Charo kills this, and then it's a 5-3 game, and then, yeah, but... why are they so, what? Bro, just kill it. I mean, now it has no energy, I guess, but like, why? <laughs> What's the point? Oh, wait. I mean, actually, wait, they get one barbs as they kill it, I guess. But, like, there's two on your side. So, like, what? Well, that does nothing. Okay, it's dead. I mean, technically, they have one barb up. Or, like, Neon has a barb up, which, I mean, that's probably what they wanted, but this, yeah. What's up, Thunder Fox? Am I DQ'd? I'm not sure. Did you, uh, did you check in? Peace of mind with the... Uh-oh. <laughs> Bro is setting up barbs as the Glacia D is setting up. Oh, shoot. I mean, this is pause, that's why. I didn't check in, but I'm here. I mean, you have to... You have to check in on the website. On the StarGG website. 
during the, the 10 minute check-in period. If not, then there's nothing I can really do about that. Okay, so what, they're plus two now. Also, that, that thing died. I, I forgot to. Gargolem defense died. Now... Hmm. I mean, this was a ranged defensive of Sejagon, wasn't it? Does it... I mean, they always just frost me, don't they? Like, you're plus two. You're in this position. Like... Yeah. Does kill. So... Oh boy, wait. What do they have for this? Charya... Oh, wait, yeah, they have this. Wait, yeah. <laughs> wait, but this dies. Wait, this is plus two. This just dies, doesn't it? Uh, wait, does Glacier Deer just win? I think Glacier Deer literally just... Actually, it's gonna run out of energy, but... Does this just win? Eruptodon... They double? Is there a metal? There's Lumello. Which is dead. On the deep freeze. Uh, uh oh. I'm not keeping track of score, but it's 3 2. There's the Umbrats, and there's a Eruptodon left. Oh boy. I mean. Glacier Deer has one more. And then Eruptodon comes in, but like, they, they still lose. No, Acoustic just wins this. But there's literally nothing I can do. Am I checked in? I, I'm not sure. Did you did you press the check-in button? Like, I, I'm sorry, but I can't keep track of 40 people checking in. Like, there's a 10 minute period where, you know, everybody who's in a round one checks in, and if not, then like, there's nothing I can do. Yeah, no, Acoustic just wins. This... I mean, we can watch it happen. But... I don't think there's a comeback here for Neon. Doesn't say I got disqualified? I mean, are you in a chat with your opponent? Or are you in a round... You're in a round one, right? Alright, Seer Knight switches in, so... Raging Tackles, definitely, yeah, that's enough. Uh, why did they... Why, why did they switch? <laughs> Wait. They fade away? Erupt just cooks him. Except, it, except it's dead now. Oh, no mind. <laughs> well, I mean... Glacier D is faster. It's... Yeah, no, it doesn't even matter. They get this kill. Glacier D is faster. So it's 2-2. Two, two. So it's Glacier D and something else in Acoustic Side ends. Yeah, Erupt and Umbra. Glacier Deer has no... Wait, they both have... I mean, they both have one move. Yeah, that's gonna die. Okay, so Glacier Deer has no energy. Umbra gets to come in and hit this, which... I don't know what's in the back for Acoustic, but I mean... I'm assuming they have something for Umbra, considering the fact that they just did that. So, I think Acoustic's... Oh, yeah, and the Recoil, too. This is, like, 80%. Yeah. 
I'd assume Acoustic has something that just kills this month again. We haven't seen it yet. Yeah, no, it's Helvantic. Alright. Okay. GG's. Amethyst 1? Yo. But anyways, yeah. Acoustic's gonna take it 1-0 over Neon, making it 2 round 2. That was, um... I thought that was going the other way for a long time, I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, we got DeBuster and Will here. I think they might have ended the battle in... Oh, no, we're here, come on. I thought I joined right as it ended, and it, like, bugged me, but... Alright, we're in this battle. I'm not sure what the score is, but... 5, 3, 4... Will. And we'll just do this. In favor of wait, so it's like. Alright. That is off, but we fix it. Alright, so this has been a long battle so far. I'm not sure what has happened, but there's a paralyzed Ferroglyph in front of an Elegana, so that's something. Lashent comes in. Wait, this is. So, yeah. Arceus, so. You yeah, know, Debuster has Arceus, Fairglyph, and what was the thing we saw right when we joined? There was something else, wasn't there? Oh no, it was the Art. No, it was the Gastroke. So, yeah, no, Debuster has Gastroke, Arceus, Fairglyph against an entire team, which I'm not sure. We've seen Elegano, we've seen Blashent. Something tells me Will's in the better position, but I mean, there could be, like, things in the back that are quite literally 1 HP, and they're saving them from sacks, I don't know. Like, we, we have no idea what happened in this game. What's status, what's low, what's healthy, you know. We do see Faraglyph, which does get pivoted off of, and so Will gets momentum. Although, Elegana is low at, like, zero energy, so that's something. Dakuda comes in. I would assume that's base form, considering, yeah, okay. Slap down is going to kill. Yeah, I, uh, I think Will might have this game. So something tells me that Will might have this game. Arceus. Only Cosmere crack. Yeah, this this is already GG's. This, yeah. See Dakuda coming on the rest. Wait. Or are they trying to double into Gastro? Wait, doesn't this this is neutral to water and it has like a hundred something physical attack. Chienta. Okay, well. <laughs> I mean, they just win. It doesn't matter how, but I think we'll just... Yeah. Now they just click. Yeah. Boots Arcer. Wait, what? Oh wait, Felk? Wait. Oh, they have a Felkry. Wait, did we not see a Gastroke when we like first joined? Or did that wait, did that die? I swear we saw a Gastroke Soul Burst, like the second we joined. Is it 5-2 still? Uh Did we watch the Gastric die? No, the Gastric... I don't know what happened, but anyways, Will takes it 5-0 over to Buster.
Winning the game and yeah, making it to round two. So yeah, GG's. Now that game's done, that game's done, that game's done. Oh, all of them are done. Alright, that is all of round one, so... Yeah, we're gonna force these matches through and then we'll hop right into round two. That one, and this one. Alright, perfect. We'll reset this. Alright, it's time you guys. Round two check-ins are going to open in approximately... 30 seconds so yeah if you are part of I mean the tournament at all then yeah you'll be you'll be starting now if you haven't because everybody's in a round two round one was just like you know whoever got the luck of the draw whatever but you know everybody from now on is uh yeah everybody in the battle now okay we'll do that should open it the website's got a process but we should be hopping. It says now. It'll turn yellow in a sec. But yeah. Yeah, there we go. Alright, check-ins are open. Thirty minutes, that's like a good time. Alright, there we go. Holy, one match is already fully green. Look at that. Tour. Oh, actually, wait, this might be a good game. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna watch Mickey and Mad. I'm gonna hop in. Yeah. Yo, yeah, is that human? And also, yeah, please, if you are part of the tournament, please, please, please make sure you're submitting your team every battle. This is, yeah, it's a lot easier to do than Duda World, because every game is, like, best of one. Like, every round's best of one, so you don't have to worry about it once a, once a round. But, yeah, no, all those go towards usage, which all go towards, like, yeah, go see what's usage. So, like, every single one of you get to see the usage. It's, you know, like, released to the world after the tournament, so... Yeah, that'll, those, that's useful, obviously, to see what's, you know, the most used for, you know, just to know in general. And, I mean, eventually we might do fun things like UU and stuff, but, I mean, usage is just cool, right? Yo, let's hop into a bat. Anyways, who are we watching here? Oh yeah, Mickey and Mad. People are gonna see team me? Wait, what? We got it. Center. There we go. Perfect. That's not perfect. Never mind. Gotta be perfect. There it is. Alright, they should be into team preview right now, so we'll hop into it soon. Who do you guys think, before before we even hop into the battle, who do you guys think's gonna... 
potential to win this. Hello. Oh wait, this is the guy that's battling. Alright, here we go. Right as the new song plays. Look at that timing. Alright, we see Gastroke here on the Glacidia. So, yes, I mean... Yeah, quite effective hit. Even though there is insulated, it's... Yeah. Mickey mad? Is it? <laughs> what? Bro has the extra E, like Mickey, from like, you know, the mouse. I feel bad, because like, in previous polls, you know how I like do, I, like I give people emojis when I like say like, who do you think is going to win top 8 tomorrow? I gave Mickey the mouse emoji, and I didn't mean, I kind of, now that I look back, that was kind of like, mean. I was just like, I didn't know what to name him because I didn't know anything about him. So like, okay, Mickey, that sounds like Mickey Mouse. I'll just use a mouse. And then people started making fun of it, and I was just like, oh, I didn't mean to like insult him or something. But yeah, I mean, Glacidia is gonna come in on the deep freeze. That's Glacidia. Sting is gonna come in on the Glacidia's deep freeze. And I mean, obviously it's a metal type; it can force this out. Uh, but I mean. Barbs are a possibility to go that could go up. I don't know what kind of Celestine this is, but most are defensive. Or it can even f it has flash and play, right? You can pivot. It also has a plant somewhere. Cleone comes in, alright. On the barbs, yeah. But yeah. I mean. The only just gets momentum here always. Like, like this is slower, right? So I can pivot off of this. I, this doesn't do anything staying in. Like, I mean, what? Okay. That's Baratu, and then they just pivot, right? Dissipate. So Mad gets entry on something. I, I don't know what, but something. Oh yeah, Glacier D is here. So yeah, I mean, that forces something to, you know, stop this. Gastor yeah, obviously can't come in. What else do we know? We don't know anything. They could set up. I We don't know that, like, obviously they saw their team and team preview, so there might be... They probably have something, like, I don't know. <laughs> Pyrelin in the back. All right, never mind. The double into my mask. As Celestine comes... Oh, wait, what am I saying? We literally just watched this happen. <laughs> Alright, so they get the read. And I mean... Yeah, this is... Yeah, the mask just gets to hit this. Wait, where... Slap down goes up. Shade Perolo. And he throws out a Thunder Crash, which. <laughs> what? what just happened? <laughs> they get Thunder Crash. So they have Helvantic in the back, I think. It's probably the most likely. Mamask is on life support. Literally. So that's something. Yenta comes in. Oh boy. So I mean... Yeah, they just get the kill. Like, they, they literally can't stop this. Unless they want to keep my mask, but like... Is there... Oh, they do, okay. Keep that as a sack for later. Phage? No oh, they have, literally have a Phage. No, I don't think this makes sense. This is just... Yeah. Nice. So, yeah, I mean, that malware obviously gets rid of that extra 20%, 30% boost on the, the Frost Punch. So that's, you know, goes from the 92, 90, whatever base power it is, to 70. 
Which, I mean, it's never staying in, but that's, yeah. <laughs> Later on to the line, if it tries to break this, it's, you know. Phage Knot's definitely an issue. I mean, they have... Gas Stroke, yeah. So does that. Tear down on the barbs. And I mean, yeah, they just soul burst. They, I mean, they prob. Eh, I doubt they tamp. They throw it a. What's it called? Status thing. But yeah, the Shen's here. I mean, it's just yeah. I mean, they force him this out, obviously. Poison. That's what I mean. And it misses. Oh boy. So they miss the poison. Lashent obviously like obliterates this thing with a slap down. So they're forced into something. <laughs> they gotta answer this somehow. I mean Celesting, no. What else do they have? Okay, they got a Vesp, yeah. On the fadeaway. Okay, I should like... Hold up. Where's... Here, I'll just do this. I'm so used to just being handed the teams, I, I forget that I actually have to remember who's on which team. <laughs> like, I'm used to Duna World where they literally just show you everything. I'm gonna... So they have a Mickey is a vast bagast stroke silver as Chianta, Celesting, and one other thing. That rhyme for some reason. They have Glacia Dia, which sets up icicle traps. Double DQ? Crazy. Bro gets to finals in their pool for free. Yeah, Glacia Dia Mamask, which is pretty much dead. It's at like one health. Alright, Celesting tears down, and, I mean, Mickey goes Vesp, but, like, it's, uh, you know, the Vesp is indeed not gonna be able to switch in, like, it's at, like, 66%, it's a 3 hit from this thing, which, I mean, this is the last time he gets to switch in if it wants to. I gotta fight Amethyst or Skulls? Barbs go up as they stay in on the Earthquake. So Celesting lives, but, you know. I mean, don't they want, they want Celesting for Glacia Dia, don't they? I mean, it's kind of too late now, but don't they want this for Glacia Dia? It's like Glacia Dia's in the back, and it's like, Full health, health, like you know, he healthy, like 80%. I don't know what it is, but it's healthy. So, like, hmm. oh, I guess Chant is there. Wait, yeah, Chant is there, but I mean, Mad can always go Phage not on that. Like, it's, it's just gonna become a repeating cycle at that point. Metal Blast. So they're just ready to kill this Celeste thing. Oh wait, you're mad. I see. Oh, I get it now. That's because your people are gonna see your team, and then they could. Yeah, I get it. Earthquake on the Vesp. Barely k does not kill. Oh boy. So Vesp lives. Hardly. <laughs> And, uh, yeah. Okay. 
gets to throw out a hit. I mean, there's a Phage Knot, so, like, this isn't an issue for Mad. But, I mean, they don't want it slapped. Actually, isn't it, like, what's the burn, the burn thing called? Burn item. They don't think it, I mean, they take the extra damage, but, you know. Glacier comes in. Oh, wait, that was... I thought that was healthy. Wait, what? Okay. And the revival goes up. So Vesp gets... A bunch of its health back. Alright. We see the Phage Knot here. Below half. But, I mean, you know. It's in front of a Vesp, so... Timber is free? Hmm. That is not how you spell Glacier D. Throw like an extra eye in there. But yeah, I mean... Does Vesp... If they can break this Phage Knot, I mean, Shienta's wide open, right? But they don't, so it's like... There's no way Vesp can get through this. It just keeps healing, healing, healing. Lose its ability. And then, I mean, they don't want to take a flash. Well, no, they literally get the flash and to the base. I mean, Mickey just goes gastric every time. But they do hit it. Okay, never mind. Oh, wait, that kills? Wait, that's enough. Okay, hold up. Wait. Oh no, it's not! Wait, it hardly lives! Bro, that lived on 1 HP! <laughs> Wait! I literally thought that died! I, c I couldn't even see the sliver of health. Uh, alright! Oops. So, they, they risked the roll, and it barely did not kill. Like, you physically couldn't even see the health. Like it was that little. It was literally one. It had to have literally been one. But now Gastro comes in. As the bar Bart spikes barbs go down. Any any disconnect throughout any portion of the battle counts as a loss. And that there's no there's nothing with time like oh if you disconnect in the first two turns and it doesn't count. I like, know anybody that disconnects throughout any part of the battle counts as a loss, unfortunately. Unless it's like a clear win at the end of the game or something. I'm watching and I just but like that's just there so people like I'm not saying your opponent or anyone be here would do this, but they could. Like you could just well they poison. You could like. Enter a battle, say you are like in a super bad matchup. Say, oh, sorry, I disconnected. And then just like switch your team. Like, obviously, you don't switch the members, but you can switch like moves, you can switch, like, you know, you can switch sets, switch, especially now, it's much easier to just like, you just click your TPs down, click your TPs up. I'll probably have to actually take TPs from top eight, final, whatever lock-ins just because now it's so easy to switch tps so but yeah that's just the reason so people don't like you know abuse it and cheat my street continues of not waking up on time dang okay what is happening here i, I kind of looked away but it, it tried to poison it sorry they tried to poison this phage knot which went from quite literally one hp and burned Literally one HP and burned to yeah they're healthy now. Lashent here on the poison. There it is. So Lashent gets poison there. Which yeah I mean Mickey has Vesp. They have Vesp. They have Vesp. Or they can sack Celesting or something. Cause I mean Glacier is dead. Uh, what do they need? The mask is. 1 HP. Then there's you know, the Shantir Phage Knot. Glacier D is dead. This is one thing we don't know of. Psst. 
So yeah. I mean, Vesp takes. They always Earthquake or Timber, though. So this is going to hurt. Rejuvenate. Oh, never mind. Bro retracted his message. <laughs> hey, I didn't see anything. I wasn't looking at my own chat, don't worry. And then, yeah, Phage Knot's here on the slot down. It tanks as easily. It heals everything back. Maybe not easily, but, like, you know. It stops this. So, yeah, I mean... Gastro... Or, yeah, no, Gastro always comes in here. Phage Knot always heals itself. And it's just, yeah, the same repeating cycle. So yeah. What do you guys think? Who's uh who's in the winning position right now? I feel like it has to be Mickey. Like you're literally up in Blumians. And like <laughs> Mad has a one HP mask. Poison slush end. But we don't know what that last thing is. We've only seen four of their Lumens so far, so like I don't know. What would be scary in the back? This is kind of funny. We haven't seen a single... Actually, we've seen one chart, honest, but we haven't seen a single Mudagun yet, which... People were scared when I unbanned it, and I'm just like, like, I just... I feel like it's fine now. Like, it might it might be a solid Lumion, okay, but like, it's not Ubers anymore. There's no way that's Ubers. Now that it can't, like, hit... Like, anything faster than it can, if it's, you know... Obviously, not everything faster can force it out. But, you know, like, anything faster that can force it out can actually force it out now. It can't just get quick punched from a plus two whatever attack. Like, you know, it's... Yeah. Mickey was going to win this, most likely. Gnarly Gash almost kills, doesn't kill. Havantic lives in Earthquake, though. Poison's going to pick up that kill. Yeah, I think Mickey might have this now. This is, um... Unless there's something terrifying in the back, then yeah, Glacia Dia here. It's Glacia Dia, my mask, and one last thing, my mask. Wait. Oh, the. I'm cr bro. They had. Oh, uh, what's it called? Illusion, my mask. I didn't even realize. <laughs> the gla That's why I was confused, bro. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. I haven't played this game in two months, but like. I'm like, wait, why Why was the Glacia deal 1 HP? I swear it was healthy, but it was the mask that they sacked. Duh. All right, well, yeah, <laughs> you literally got me. I, uh, yeah, we're just getting back into Lumi Legacy, but <laughs> the, the mask is dead, guys. But yeah, I mean, Helvatic's plus one defense attack here. Or melee attack, melee defense. Glacier DSU, I mean, it just kills it, and they go like, Celesting or something, I don't know. Probably Celesting. Could even go Chienta. But, yeah, sorry. Yeah, round three will be the the final round of pools. So, if you make it to round three and you win round three, then yeah, you're going to be making it to finals later tomorrow. But anyways, we see Gastro come in here on the peace of mind setting up. You know, there's a Gastro, there's a Phage Knot, sorry, not a Gastro, there's a front of us. There's a Glacia Dia, there's a Phage Knot, and then there's one more thing. Uh, Yeah, if this Gastro can... I mean, it's plus one, it's insulated. Although it is quite effective, it goes to what? Plus, or times two. But it's 140, 140 bulk. <laughs> it's like... Does this stall it out? <laughs> I feel like it might. 
because like the poison's gonna build up. What is it? It's one eighth in this game, right? Yeah, it's about an eighth. I'm pretty sure. Wait, let's see. Yeah, one eighth. So, yeah. Uh, Mickey wins unless there's a crit or something. This is why we run Frostbeam. True. Stratagem. Alright. Glacia D is going to drop here. It is a Phage Knot and some unknown Lumion against the world here. Oh, it's a Cleone, uh-oh. <laughs> oh wait, we saw this. Right, yeah, it dissipated once. Alright, that might be GG's, guys. Reverse sweep Cleone. Cleone is gonna reverse sweep here, guys. True. Guys, Cleone is gonna set up plus two attack, magic attack, uh, ranged attack, and uh, sweep the entire game with all of its coverage and offensive stat and stats. <laughs> it's about to happen. It's so real. Magic attack, Doodle World Syndrome. It's real. I have no way to win. Mm, well, actually, if no. Yeah, it's it's over. Anyways, Mickey is going to take it for nothing, going to round three, which is the final. What is it? Final round before making it to top eight. So if you win in round three, you make it to tomorrow. So yeah. GG's. Anyways, we have human against the numbers here, which they do have a Mutagon, which is the first one we've seen all day. Gonna see what the score is here. You could have crit. I mean, even then, there's, that that game was not winnable. There's no way. Alright, Bill of Forge is interesting against, yeah, the recently unbound Mutagon, which, yeah, there's a Vesp. Alright. Wait, let me get the score. Yeah, no, I mean, there's a Vesp, so, like, <laughs> that's something. Okay, wait, what is happening here? Alright, we're good. Alright, we see a Bill of Forge looking down at Obsidigon. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to get the score to this battle, but... We, we'll just assume it's 5-5, five, five, I guess. I don't know, we can't really do anything about it. Wendelin takes a Metal Blast. That's, uh, yeah, something. If only I didn't oversleep, bro. Just set an alarm. What? Fade away. Gets the Scorching Skin. Yo, Scorch reference? So, no. 
So yeah, no, Wendelin is burned. That's that's something. But that's that's a big deal. And we see Pyrolin on the Muck Blast does not poison. Which I mean is kind of fair with your, you know. <laughs> that amount of RNG is, uh, yes. Alright, I'm gonna start writing these teams down. Against a Will in the finals? I suppose. Scorching skins the superior Billiforge? Yes. It has Scorch in the name, so we're gonna... <laughs> what even is the percent? It's like 20, 30. Let's see. 30. Oh wait, four, three. I assume it's in the numbers is favor because people usually say theirs first. That just got crit. Oh boy, hold up. Vesperatu crit. There's a Moodagon on the other side. Can't wait. Score is four, three. So human has Billiforge, Vesperatu, and something. The numbers is Parlin, Wendell, and Moodagon, and something. Obsidragon. On the slap down. Which should be enough because heavy armor's gone. Yo, Gumpod. Oh, it's not! Wait! Oh boy, that's literally a 1 HP of Sidragon. And they click slapped on again for some reason. Uh, uh oh. Wait, is Spirit not. Oh wait, no, Ancient Resist Spirit. What am I saying? No, that, that was literally the only thing they had to. You know, they had to click that. They have a Stratosaur though. Wait, there's a Stratosaur awakened here. Awakened. Solver Stratosaur. <laughs> Did that wait? Did they set up? I missed that. Yeah, plus two. Yeah, Lumion, Lumion, Lumion. All right, we have a Pyrolin, we have a Wendelin, and we have a Mutagon. Something tells me this might just be boots, so. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, it is. Well, that was their only hope, I guess. Like. Yeah. Billiforge here. I mean, this Billiforge has to get through a Mutagon. It has to get through a Wendelin. It has to get through a Pyrolin. <laughs> Why did they? F <laughs> there was no need for the game to do that to them, but yeah, no flinches. Nice. I mean, it literally doesn't matter. I mean. <laughs> Can, can, can a Billiforge kill three Lumians? Probably not. <laughs> I mean, they have, you yeah, know, they have Earthquake for Pyreland. Mutagon, they just like. Wait, isn't this literally a poison type? Uh. Wait, they're, they're dead. Telekinetic does not miss, so yeah. Alright, the numbers is going to take it. It was 2 nothing technically. I missed the other kill, but yeah. 2 nothing over human, making it to round 3, the final round of day 1, so yeah.
I checked in five minutes ago and it said I DQ'd. Check-ins were open about half an hour ago, so... Um, yes. <laughs> Amount of throws exceed Earth population I threw like seven times. Yo, what? It's okay, human. You'll make a comeback in restoring your turn. I'm just kidding. Um, th th there's always there's always future Lumion Cubs plus Doodle Cubs. So yeah. Anyways, that game is this game. No, that's it. All right, that is the final round two game. We're just gonna force all these games through and. Yeah, I mean the rest of the games will all be determine who's playing tomorrow so yeah the winners of these next matches determine the winners of the entire pool and determine who makes it to finals day tomorrow i'll be victorious we'll see let's find out also another 30 minute round that's pretty fast this, uh, yeah, no, this day one is gonna be pretty quick. We're, we're only an hour in and we're already in the final round. <laughs> but anyways, we are going to open round three here, if it lets me. First thing. Alright, there we go. This should be opening soon. I'm so done for against Will. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, that round three should be starting soon. Just waiting for that to process. And then, yeah, we'll hop right into round three here. Yeah, no. Submit your team for every every battle. Come on. Please process. <laughs> Hello. There it is. Alright. Round 3 check-ins are officially open. If you are part of round 3, go check in now. And please, please, please make sure your team is also submitted. I'm going to ping for this. Alright. Who do we want to watch here? We got... Here, let's, uh... Let's take a look here. Day 1 speedrun. Honestly, why is this... <laughs> I'm kind of worried. Why is this going way too... This is going too fast. You guys are, like, too... Smooth with check-ins and getting battles submitted and all this stuff. But yeah, we have... Amethyst and Bolt. We have Will and Kartik. We have Mickey and Akil. Assuming people check in. We have I don't know story against Obsidian, Wrath, we have Iron against Acoustic, Delta against Sponge, Convicts into Numbers, Karam and Burrito. So Yeah, I mean I I don't really care. Who do you guys who do you guys want to watch? Pick a game. That that is preferably green. Watch me. I mean, if nobody else speaks up, we could. 
What do we think? Bro has no losses in his name. <laughs> no losses. Will versus Max? I'm using hyper offense? Are you lying to me? <laughs> Is bro lying? I mean, we might as well. It's fun. Like, yeah. Alright. Karam and Burrito. Dang. I guess we're not watching them. <laughs> also, wait, this person's. Wait, did the. Bracket 6. Oh no, this person should be here. Yo, adventure. I mean, I can just put your name, man. Yeah, here we go. We got Karam and Burrito happening soon. You guys ready to see some hyper offense? Something tells me he's not gonna have hyper offense. <laughs> I have a, a sneaky suspicion, uh, yeah. I literally am? Yo, wait, five minute game? Have you heard of Lumello Hyper Offense? I have now, let's see it. <laughs> Alright, they should be in team preview right now. Ready for it. You guys aren't even gonna see it. I'm gonna click it so fast. Fortnite. <laughs> What's up, car? Welcome to a Lumion Cup. So real. Alright, where where's this game? Can I commentate? No. <laughs> no. Alright. We see my mask lead here. Against Lu Lumello. Okay, so he wasn't lying about Lumello and uh 
Health, uh, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, poison barbs go up. Is there a poison type on this team? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I tried, nah. My mask sets barbs up. Becoming a metal type. So they're just exchanging hazards. All right. The the bracket was on the in the Start GG website, where all the registration and everything was in the Discord. Okay, so I don't know what their teams are. Like I would say, like oh, barbs are better for this person based on the fact that, but like we literally have seen nothing. So <laughs> both players are setting barbs up. One has poison barbs as well. Who's this better for? I don't know. Who has removal? I don't know. <laughs> Mask swap. That's going to do nothing. Yeah. Wave Wrecker. That's going to do half. Oh. No mind. It's resistant because it changes type. I forgot. No mind. I lied. So. I mean. <laughs> Bravo Slash. I mean, Lumello gets crit, but it always loses this. Maybe he wasn't lying about hyper offense. Alright, did that die? I was dancing with somebody. I assume that just got killed. Slap down, almost kill- Bro, that just crit, okay. <laughs> Alright, well, the Lumello died, so it's 5-4. The mask is, you know, out of health now, or energy now. Samarine's out of health. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that crit kinda sucks for Kiara. They do switch it out and go into Gobademic. What is it? What are these teams? I got RNG turn one and immediately lost. Yo, what? How did uh, how did Bro get RNG turn one? Okay, Mudblast picks up that kill. Alright, we see Harvestect here. Lumello and Gobademic on the same team as Bro. So I don't know what Bro is doing. This is apparently hyper offense. <laughs> Which, I mean, they have three layers of barbs of unpoison barb up. So, like... I guess. Samarin gets sacked. On the drive... What is this game? <laughs> <laughs> I was told to watch this and I'm very confused what's happening. <sighs> this team is like very interesting. Falkyrie's here. This is a good game. I didn't say it was a bad game, I'm just confused. <laughs> You've never seen a game like this? Nope. No hyper offensive Lumello teams ever. Never never experienced that one before. Alright, Cleone's here. Okay, so Burrito just doesn't have hazards removal, it looks like, which is interesting. The more confusing a game is, the better. True. Car, just wait till you see the monologue of Lumen Legacy come out. I'm just kidding, that doesn't exist, but. <laughs> Alright, the pivots. I, I don't really understand that hyper offense, but we do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Gust. Okay, they do have removal. C Gust Cleone gets rid of these. True. Watch me with uh, RE. We're gonna cook up something. <laughs> Alright, Harvestex comes in. On the Muck Blast, doing, you know. It's dead. <laughs> 
they bring the thing weak to the radiant forecast in as the radiant forecast hits. It's a 3-3 game. I don't know what I'm watching right now. Valkyrie's here. Dang, that's crazy. We love Lumi Legacy RNG. Alright, Flash and Flee. Kills, because it's a Gobademic. Cleone's here. I don't know what's happening, but did Kiram win? I, I can't even commentate this. This is so, like, all over the place. There's a Cleone. There's a Valkyrie, and there's something, and then there's a Valkyrie and something on this side, so... Mine resists light? Apparently. Alright, they rejuvenate here. Cleone is healthy. Uh, does Cleone... I don't... What's in the back? <laughs> This game's gone so fast, I forget what doodle- Lumians, Lumians, everybody has. Like, d does Cleone just kill or win sit on everything? What's this? Seti Mars, wait, Karim literally just loses to Cleone. This is quite literally over. Wait! Wait, why did he just click talent trade? Wait, he's literally bad. Well, I mean, regard. Uh, guys? Guys? There's, uh. Th th there's a rule. So. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Bro, some. Uh. Karam, you may or may not have clicked. <laughs> well, I mean, to make the battle even more confusing and uh, I guess entertaining, Talent Trade is banned, so. I mean, Burrito just wins now. Like, you get disqualified if you use anything banned, so... Yeah! <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter what happens in the game anymore. The City Mars click talent trade, it's over. Yeah, Burrito's gonna take this game for a DQ. I get disqualification from, you know, clicking talent trade. I mean, they, they won anyways, but like... Yeah. <laughs> that was... Uh, I don't know what happened that game. That was extremely all over the place. We're gonna watch this game, which, you know, maybe it'll make, uh, maybe I'll be able to wrap my head around it better. <laughs> Who is this? Acoustic and someone iron, I think? Lazy is like. Oh, uh, what is lazy? It, like, tends to move last, basically. What's the actual description? They, they basically go last. Unless there's, like, Bane of Haste, which is RS. Or Trick Room, or whatever. Or, like, Heavy Shackles. But yeah, we got Acoustic against Iron here. What? Oh, the game's... Yeah, yeah. Which side are we on? Oops, I maybe should have paid attention. Whoa, guys, Stratosaur Soul Burst. Okay. We'll spectate from Iron. Okay, so we're on Iron side here.
All right, we're at a three-three game here. Three-two, actually. All right, so there's a sober stratosaur here now. I don't know anything about, um, you know, anything regarding the battle itself, but. Yeah, talent talent trade is permanent. That that's why it's banned. It's been banned since Lumen Cup one. So, I mean, you you need to read the rules every time, regardless, because stuff does change. But like, you know, it, it has also been there since the first cup. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, they just okay. This is just. I think trade exchange should be like that. Hmm. Hmm. Anyways, three nothing for acoustic, making it two finals day tomorrow. So yeah, GG's. What other games do we got? That one's over. We have that one's over. That one's over. So Amethyst has made it two finals day tomorrow. The numbers has made it to finals day tomorrow. Burrito we just saw. Acoustic we even more like you know that immediately just happened will and cardic i don't know a username sponge and delta will hop into right now i wasn't planning on winning can you host doodle cup now yes Tom uh, tomorrow what am i saying finals day for this is tomorrow Basically for cups, I mean, I've said this multiple times. Oh, wait, that, oh no, I'm just here. I've said this a bit, but yeah, no, we are going to be like swapping between cups. So like, you know, this weekend will be a doodle cup, sorry, looming cup. And then like next week it'll be a doodle cup. And then we can after it'll be a looming cup. And then we'll just like switch between the two. Unless like, I don't know, something different happens, then we'll probably just switch between the two. And yeah, both players will have, you know, oh, the game's over. All right. <laughs> you know, then both games will have cups regularly. So like every two weeks, there'll be a cup basically. And if you play both cups, then like, or if you play both games, then yeah, you'll get a cup every week. But yeah, I mean, Sponge did just win against Delta there. So it has also made it to finals day. And Will and Kartik, I don't know either username. So yeah. Um, I don't know what to do at this point. Does anybody know their usernames? Or even their Discord? Oh, wait, is Col Wait, this is the guy that was trying to stall their game? Wait. Wait, is it over? Will and Cardic. There's uh there's just this one game left, but I don't really know what happened. Do they are they battling now? Did they battle in the pot? Like I don't. He was saying something like, "Can I battle later?" I'm like, "No, it's a live rolling tournament." So I think they battled. If not, then uh, that's kind of annoying because we gotta start something on one. We have a tiny man, and we have a. <laughs> Why is this allowed in the game? What even is this? Bro, I could like hide in this. Guys, where did Scorch go? Um, I don't know what's happening here. They have not submitted a battle, and they're not responding. And they have not communicated in the Start GG chat like they're supposed to. So like, oh, all right. There's a username right here. Never mind. We have a user. It is just Coldwell. Can I battle yesterday? I mean, you could have. I wasn't going to stop you from... Not from the tournament. Am I battle from future tournaments? No, just this tournament. I mean, if you continually bring banned stuff, I mean, I guess. But, like, 
You didn't know, you just lose now, it's fine. Just don't do it again. Alright. Can I click, please? Alright, Cardic against Will. Okay, wait, what is the score here? It was funny? No. <laughs> it wasn't. Five, four? So they did this late. You know, usually I would... There's no way this battle's been going on for 10 minutes. Like, they have 10 minutes to start the battle. And it's been 30 minutes since check-ins have opened. So, like, they did stall this. But, I mean, the tournament has been fast. And it is a final bracket thing. So, I guess that's fine. We'll, we'll just cope. Yeah, we, uh... We have Cardic against Will here. We got a Rancidor and a Spreezy. Yeah. I mean, the difference is it's the last battle. It's the last... You know, it's the last round. And it's also, like... The stream's been up for an hour 30. I literally don't want to end stream. Like, I want this to continue. So, I mean, it works out for them, I guess. But Rancidor is uh, one health. Did it set up or something? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Can I still join? Nah, it's, uh, you have, to, you have to register ahead of time. Like, it's, there's, like, a registration period. I think it was Sunday to Friday. We started open Sunday or Monday to Friday. But we will have future Lumi Cups in the future, obviously. So, like, I think April 27, 28 will be the next Lumi Cup. And that'll be open, you know, a week ahead. Registration will be open. There is, you know, if anybody is interested in joining Looming Cups or, or confused why they got DQ'd when they checked in, like, you know, if there was any issues you're confused about, there is an entire video in the description that shows, you know, it goes through how to register and then how to check in the day of, how to participate. Like, it goes over everything, basically. It takes, like, you know, 10 minutes out of your day. You can watch it in double speed if you have no attention span or you can just, you know, watch it. <laughs> But, uh, that is a dead Akalos. Alright. Got it. <laughs> How many people participated? I mean, there was about 40 that registered. How many checked in? I'm not entirely sure. Alright, we see Vaspir, which, you know, can obviously force this out. And then, yeah, I mean, for finals day, obviously it is team locked, which, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of have to get TP screenshots from now on, too, because it's so easy to adjust your sets. So, yeah, and I, I mean, I'll, I'll ping about that and talk about it at the end, but, oh, wait, did it die? Oops. But yeah, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to get sets, too, for, for, uh, yeah, for team locks. Like, TP, pick, I'll talk about it later. But yeah, I mean, gets the shiver, the freeze. Alright, well, that's something. I mean... Hmm. Is this just set up? Meteor Crash, that's doing nothing. Yeah. <laughs> They're just losing energy. I mean, Lume Lumeline. What? Lumelo, Lumeline. Two names that are not this. Luminami can just, like... Yeah. That still doesn't do anything, though. Well, I mean... This kind of just power nappers all the health it loses anyways. So, yeah. Flash and play. Luminami gets this low, it's frozen, and they get, like, 60% next time they come in. Yeah, 60% of it. Or 50, probably. But yeah, I mean, Vespa's here. I don't know what uh, what they have, but... I mean, Slapdown is quite scary. <laughs> Harrow? What is Harrow? Is that just the spirit move? Okay. They live! 
on one HP. You can't even see the HP. But there's one there, and it kills them. <laughs> Yo, it's like the, the phage nut from before. You can't even see, like, this looks dead to me, but there's, there's one sliver of HP there. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know why they didn't slap down. I, I was confused as well. I didn't even know what Harrow was, but it's, you know, just the spirit stab move, I guess. Is, doesn't it run slash, whatever? What is Harrow? Is that new? 90 base power. Oh, it just... Oh, wait, when my mask got introduced, it got it. Okay, I see. Um, okay, well, Cosmere is at quite literally 1 HP right now. It's psychoblasting this limit. How did that even happen? Wait. <laughs> wait, what did they click? Bro, what is happening right now? Rancidor against the world? Something tells me this game is- Oh, it is over. It's literally over. Like, this is good. Muck Blast. Oh, but yeah, it ties to recoil. <laughs> Alright, well, Will's gonna take this game 3-0 over Kardec, making it to finals day tomorrow. So, yeah, there it is. There's, uh, yeah. I don't really know what happened there, but I mean, it happened, so yeah. <laughs> Will takes it 1 0. And then, yeah. Alright, let me just force these games through, and then, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll show you guys the bracket for tomorrow. And yeah, we'll talk about things like Team Lock, because. Yeah, uh, TP's, although it was a while ago, it has changed since the last cup, so. Yeah. All right, there we go. We'll just reset this, and yeah. All right, let's take the bracket. Perfect TPs, true. All right, I don't usually do this, but we're gonna look at each individual bracket. Cause I wanna, I'm curious how many people are DQ'd, and I mean, we might as well look at it on stream. So, this was pool one. Uh, not terrible, but this, yeah, no, we just, this is the one we just watched. So, Will has made it to finals day tomorrow. We had Amethyst, who had all, all their games were actual games, making it to top eight tomorrow, finals day tomorrow. Then the numbers has made it to finals day tomorrow. Only a couple DQs there. One person overslept, one person was reading. <laughs> so they were here, they just yeah. And then acoustic dude here again, couple DQs. Iron made it to round three for free. Acoustic fought his way the whole way and won. Then pool five, we have oh boy. There was one game. Literally the only game in this bracket was round three. <laughs> oh, you hate to see it. Uh, okay. And then ra pool six. We had two games. No, we one game. The game we watched Mickey win against Mad. They, um... Yeah, this is not looking good. Why, why are there... Oh my... Yeah. Bro. <laughs> Literally, the they got the only game was Kiram and Burrito, which we watched, which was an absolute gong show. With um, well, I, the game itself was all over the place, and then talent trait was introduced and got them banned from the cup. And then this one's not. Wait, wasn't? I don't know. That's a different wire. And then yeah, pool eight. Yeah, so, I mean, looking at day two, or finals day tomorrow, this is the bracket. So this, uh, I should increase, I'll, I'll change this, just in case it takes an hour longer, or not more than an hour. But, you yeah, know, this is the bracket for tomorrow. Now, I'll be honest, there's a lot more DQs than I thought, which isn't a good sign. But, hey, my hope is that, you know, I have been gone for two months. 
from Doodle Cup, or from Looming Cups. So I'm hoping that, you know, people will start to, you know, see these and realize that, you know, Looming Cups are back. So yeah, I mean, hopefully Looming Cup 7 has more people show up at A. I mean, regardless, we still have an exciting top 8 tomorrow. So yeah, we have Will against Sponge, which we'll watch first. We have Mickey against the numbers. We have Obsidian Wrath Wraith against Acoustic. And then Amethyst against Burritos. So yeah, this will all take place same time as this stream started, but tomorrow. Actually, yeah, I mean PvP 2.0 is also. I mean, when is that dropping? Like we could I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see. We'll see how tomorrow goes. Depending on how many people are there interested watching and how the matches go. But yeah, I mean, this will take place tomorrow. I'll ping about it, and I'm going to do a poll as well. Where you guys can vote who you think is going to win tomorrow. But, yeah, I mean, Team Lock, it's going to be the same as before. Like, you're going to send me screenshots of, you're like, your. Basically, it's everything now. Like, literally. Because before I didn't take TPs, but now I'll have to just because it's so easy to change your, to change your TPs. So, yeah, we'll have the same Team Lock as before. You just show me a screenshot. We'll have to make it... Yeah, we'll say an hour before the start time. So at 8 a.m. CST or CDT, same thing tomorrow. Well, um... Yeah, you'll have to get your team uh, sent to me by... I'll, I'll think about this explaining it all. But basically, if you're part of Top 8, you take a screenshot of, like, literally everything. Like, now it'll be, like, your items of your whole team. We'll have all the moves and then all the TPs. So, and then, yeah, that'll be... I get... Yeah, and one of you in team preview as well. Like, yeah, we'll have to do that. Because I might make something, to be honest. Like, I feel like it'd be cool if we had... Like, instead of just taking a screenshot of the actual game. Like, I could probably do something like... Here, I'll, uh, I'll switch to you. Like, we could probably make something where it's like, you know, we have... There's seven lumens on the side here, and the other seven lumens on this side. We have like X's or like circles to know what are in the battle, and then you can actually keep track of it rather than me just saying like, "Oh yeah, there's this in the back," and try to memorize or keep track of stuff. So, yeah, I might do that for tomorrow. Depends how much time I have, but yeah, that's uh, yeah. I mean, that's the plan. We'll uh, I'll think about it, but yeah, we'll put up a poll, explain to you blocks, and yeah, I mean. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for finals day. So sure, yeah, that was uh, that was pretty quick. That was that was an hour forty minutes. That was is that a record speed? I mean, Doodle Cups usually take longer, but Looming Cups. I guess usually we have four rounds for Looming Cups. I think. Oh no! Wait. Looming Cup 5 Day 1 was an hour 30. What the heck? These are faster than I thought. Hey, but Looming Cup 4 was 2.30. Yeah, no, it's just because, uh, yeah, the, the entire, we lost an entire round. Compared to, like, 4 through 2 ones. Like, cups. Looming Cup 1, 2, 3, 4. But, yeah. That's, uh, I'm, I'm literally just speaking into nothingness at this point. You guys are probably getting bored. So, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow with, you know, exciting finals day. There'll be, uh, yeah, there'll be, be some good battles tomorrow, so I look forward to that. Look forward to seeing what people lock in for their teams, because, yeah, I mean, Mudagon's allowed now, so that does spice things up. Charionics, I mean, it's always been allowed, but people talk about, I don't know, it is allowed. I don't know if other tournaments ban it, but, I mean, I don't. I don't really care what other people do, so, yeah, there's that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Till next time, Scorch. Out.